Hello everyone, we're talking about the latest open source model AuraFlow V.1. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. So what is AuraFlow V0.1? Well, it's the latest breakthrough in text-to-image generation, and it's completely open source. In fact, AuraFlow is here to prove just how vibrant and innovative the open source community can be. Let's start with what AuraFlow can do. This model is exceptionally good at following complex prompts. So how can you get your hands on AuraFlow? It's simple. Head over to FAL's model gallery to try out some prompts yourself. If you're into building workflows, you can download the latest version of ComfyUI and grab the model weights from Hugging Face. Now let's get a bit technical. For those of you who love diving into the technical details, here's what makes AuraFlow. MFU as a first-class citizen, AuraFlow optimizes layers by replacing many MMDIT blocks with large DIT encoder blocks, improving model flops utilization by 15%, zero-shot learning rate, transfer. Using maximal update parameterization, MUP, AuraFlow achieves effective zero-shot learning rate transfer without extensive hyperparameter tuning. Recaptioned dataset. The dataset was meticulously recaptioned to ensure high-quality instruction following, leading to better image generation. Optimal architecture. The model uses an aspect ratio of 3072, 36, resulting in a model size of 6.8B parameters. AuraFlow was trained over four weeks, including pre-training at various resolutions, and achieved remarkable performance metrics. Let's test out AuraFlow in Comfy UI. By testing this diffusions model, first of all, you go to the AuraFlow Hugging Face page. Now, click on the files and versions. You will see the AquaFlow 0.1 safe tensor file, which is 16.4 gigabytes in size. Download this one into your Comfy UI model folder. Underneath the models folder, we have the checkpoint subfolder. So right here, I have already downloaded this into Comfy UI. As you can see, in the checkpoint loader, we are able to select these models in checkpoint notes here. Now before you run this, make sure you update your Comfy UI by clicking on Comfy UI Manager and selecting Fetch Update or Update All. It will automatically update everything in your Comfy UI. Make sure it is able to process the flow type checkpoint models because when I start running this, it will identify the checkpoint model as model type flow. It will use the Xformer Attentions VAE to run the AquaFlow checkpoint models and will request the load of Aqua T5 models, which are done specifically for AuraFlow 0.1. So, right here, I have tested it. It is not really detailed in the image, but it is able to produce a good text prompt following instructions with this model. As you can see, it's a beautiful landscape with a fox sitting on the left, and the background is a lake view. It is able to follow the whole instruction in my text prompt, locating the fox on the left and the lake view behind. This is the background of that. So far, I see that as an open source model like this one, I cannot say it's really good, but it's okay. This is just a 0.1 version. As you can see on their official page, they are planning to have further enhancements and other fine-tuned models based on this diffusions model. It will eventually get better. So yeah, as the first version of an image generation model, this works pretty well. At least it's better than stable diffusion sometimes. We know that in stable diffusion, we are not able to allocate the objects in specific positions just by using a text prompt. For example, I can specify a fox sitting on the right side and let the background be freestyle. You can see one more time the generation of the image. Here is the newly generated image for this one, and my text prompt has the fox now allocated on the right side of the image. It is able to follow the whole text instructions. There is one more thing I want to show about AquaFlow, their community. They have released another upscaler called Aura SR. It can upscale a small pixel size image to a larger size. It is able to remove some artifacts from the JPEG and upscale the image to four times its original size. I think this can work together with Aura Flow. And here are the Aqua SR custom nodes. Currently, I'm using the Comfy UI Aura SR from Zoo. It is just one of the custom nodes that support using Aqua SR for image and video upscaling. As you can see, it can process videos and, of course, images. 
It can take a small pixel size image and rescale it to a large clear picture or image. The workflow of using RSR to upscale is pretty simple. You only need two custom nodes to handle this upscale and the RSR models. You have to download it first from this link here, which is also from their official Hugging Face page. You can download these models as well. Click on the files and versions. You have the model .safe tensor files that are 2.47 gigabytes. Once you download this and locate it in the ComfyUI models folder, underneath the models folder, you are going to create a core SR subfolder to store these model safe tensor files. It is basically that simple. Once we finish that, you will see it in ComfyUI. After installing the Aura SR custom nodes, you will see these custom nodes appear by clicking the right mouse button menu. You will see these items. You will see both of these Aura SR model nodes, Aura SR for image and one for video. So this time we are using it for an image. Then we can combine this with the Aura Flow Diffusions model. Maybe first we create an image and then later we can do an upscaler with this one, for example. It's very simple. Just like what we used to do for upscaling with models, connect the input image and you get an output image of your upscaled one. If you want to be fancier, like in this demonstration, you can have a line comparison of the original image and the upscaled image. You can do image compare by using the RGB3 custom node, and you can be fancier with the before and after image effect. And maybe you can connect one of these from here. So there's image A and B for comparison. We can put it back here at the final output. For example, basically these are the new models from FAL AI. They have this diffusions model and the upscaling models. I think it can work as a whole suite of toolkits and run as a complete workflow using all their models like this. Here's another funny thing. Sometimes these new models don't have a fixed image style. Whether you want to generate realism, cartoons, or animations, it just pops up like that. This is the upscaled image from their Aura SR. By using this upscaler with other old images or photos, it does a pretty good job of removing any JPEG artifacts or blurry spots in the old or small pixel size images. Here's the comparison of both the old image and the new image. As you can see here, we had a blurry old image, and eventually, we got a more crystal clear image. You see the fox? It has become more detailed with fewer artifacts caused by the original PNG files, if I assume that's what happened. But yeah, so far we can see the clarity after upscaling with their models as well. It performed pretty well. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.